Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Ken Levine, singer and vocal coach here on YouTube and in real life, actually. And today we have a special selection from one of our dear viewers on the channel. It's one that is suggested to us from a Safwan and Safwan writes, Hey Ken! Or hi, Ken. Can you please consider listening to Lebanese legend Farouz? She has a list of songs spanning from 50s to uh, the 2010s, but I would recommend her later jazzy tunes. Le Beirut would be one I would recommend as a starting point. Okay. All right, Safwan. Let's take a look at Farouz, but I had no idea who Farouz was or is, so I had to go to Google and find out. Farouz is a Lebanese singer. She is considered by many one of the leading vocalists and most famous singers in the history of the Arab world. Oh, whoa, I had no idea. Every day is a school day, you learn something new. Farouz is considered a musical icon of Lebanon and is popularly known as the soul of Lebanon. Okay, and Wikipedia pings her age at 87 years, so knocking on the door of 90, still rocking out and moving people. So let's take a look, or listen rather, to Farouz right now. لبيروت من قلبي سلام لبيروت وقبل للبحر والبيوت لصخرة كأنها uh, mezzo-soprano, almost a, a contralto quality, her voice very, very low and soothing. This is a very famous Spanish song, Rodrigo's Concierto de Aranjuez. That song is linked in my mind uh, somewhere in the recesses of always being associated with that movie from the late 90s called Brassed Off with Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ewan McGregor. And yeah, it's a beautiful scene. I don't know if you should check it out. But anyway, I think this has different lyrics. Let me see if I can pull up the lyrics here. So I have some frame to Beirut. A greeting from my heart to Beirut. Kisses to the sea and the houses. Something about kissing and something about Beirut. <clears throat> All right, enough blather for me. Let's have more wonderful singing from Farouz. <laughs> Such a beautiful tone, an incredibly smooth, wonderful sense of legato. When you want to know if a singer knows what they're doing, listen to how they bind those sounds together the from one syllable to the next and this sort of seamless joining. And really what I love too is the stylistic portamento in between the notes. It's really gives that gives that sort of Middle Eastern flair to this Spanish song but still such a beautiful melody. <laughs> Oh, listen to that trailer. I'm gonna back it up. Just look. that's so cool. It's almost two different kinds of. There's like a tongue trill, and then there's this uvular trill, and she 
does one with it's just on the note and then one that uh, manipulates the note almost feeling like a extension of vibrato so cool <laughs> Yeah, but we're straying from the original melody a little bit here with this jazzy interlude with the guitar doing something unexpected. I like it. That's pretty cool. <music> Who is the orchestrator for this? This is wonderful. And it's such a it's such an interesting take on this classic melody. What I'm really listening to is the placement of that voice. Now, when I talk about placement, it's like one on the top tier of the things that you think about as a singer. So first being the posture and the elimination of tension, and then next you have breathing and how you take in air and then expel air, all of that. And then, of course, you have the phonation bit that's like that third tier. And at the very top, you have things like placement and resonance and formant and articulation, all of those niggly things that really make the song what we hear, what we experience, that tone that we experience. And as I'm listening to that, um, all of those fundamentals are all just so easily taken care of. And then it's just the playfulness of working within that placement and moving the vowels and the consonants around in such an effort less way yeah so cool so le it's a different level of vocal jazz you know <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the ending of that. That's so cool. Very quick ending to that particular song, not necessarily drawn out. Just a little pizzicato from the strings and boom, we're done. Signaling everyone in the audience to please clap. It's time to applause. Beautifully done. Actually, I it's it's a, I Wait, what are we at now? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Things went a little bit sideways. I hit the wrong button, but that's not what is important. The important thing is that this singer has hit my button, and I want to definitely find out more. So thank you, Safwan, for pointing me in the direction of Farouz. And if you have a comment or something you'd like to add to the discussion, don't be shy. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Always willing to learn from all of you and listen to what it is that you have to say. 
today. And if you are new to the channel and you're not entirely sure what to do, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we produce here every week on the channel. Safwan, thank you so much for subscribing, of course, and as also to you, thank you so much for sponsoring this particular video. If, you, if there is a singer that you are interested in, there is a link in the description down below that you can send me a direct note and contact me if you are a friend of the channel and want to donate as well as make a special request. You can do that there. Yeah, with that all said, thank you so much for taking time out of your super busy day and spending a few of those precious moments here with me and love and appreciation to you all. And we will see you next time. Amado Luma